we are back on New Bond Street in London to check out the latest from our favourite luxury brands. everyone, Steph here. We are back in London and guys, the sun is shining today. Look at the beautiful blue skies. Now, anyone who is from the UK, it has been raining for like the longest time. Like it feels like we've had no summer. So the fact that it is beautiful, I am so grateful. It just makes shopping even more fun. So today we are going to be heading down New Bond Street. Now I have never done a vlog on Bond Street. I have done Sloan Street before. Um, if you are a subscriber, you've probably already seen. I've done quite a lot in Harrods and Selfridges, but nothing on Bond Street. And my sales associate at Louis Vuitton, is actually here on Bond Street. I just communicate with him mostly through WhatsApp. So gonna head in and see him today. So what am I hoping to see? Okay, first and foremost, the Louis Vuitton Go 1-4 bag, not the Go 14, Go 1-4, that's what I've been told. Um, I really want to see that. Now, um, I've heard my essays let me know that Bond Street do have some in, but they only have the black one, I believe. Now, I really like the caramel one, like this is my favorite, and I do really want to see this. But just to kind of check out the quality, I'm more than happy to check out the black one today. So we're going to head there first, I think. And then, yeah, have a look around. There's some building work going on over here, so I'm sorry if it's really loud. And there is actually another bag. So there's still the Dior saddle bag. I've been trying to see this bag now for what feels like forever. I have been trying to track down the mini pink saddle bag in like the fuchsia pink. It's now sold out online and I've just never managed to find one in store. They just never have them in stock. And then there's also, I've noticed on the Fendi website, a Fendi first in the midi size, which is the size that I would really like to get. And they have it in this like bright fuchsia pink. So I don't know what it is at the minute. Maybe it's like the, the Barbie kind of trend that's going on, but I'm really liking, and I don't have a bright pink bag, but I think I would actually use one quite a lot. Speaking of bright, I did my nails yesterday. What do we think? I painted like one and I was like, oh gosh, it is, it is a little bit bright, but we had to rock it. So we're here. Okay, first stop then Louis Vuitton and we'll just have a mooch around. Let me know what you're liking the look of in the comments down below. And if you like this style of video, please do let me know by again, let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up. Let's head to New Bond Street. I love car spotting as well in London. I see so many awesome cars. And so I think Bond Street is around here on the left. I've never actually been in Fenwick, so let's have a little look. Let's see how this compares to the likes of Selfridges, Harrods. I've got a feeling this is going to be more similar to Harvey Nicks, but let's check out. Oh, they've got some bags here. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's very similar to Harvey Nicks. So we've got Marc Jacobs, we have uh, Strathby over here as well. Let's take a look. I've not really taken a close look at some of the new Marc Jacobs at the minute. I did see a big version of this recently. Oh, I love this. this is so cute. I have mine. This definitely has a bit of weight to it though. It is stuffed. But guys, this one has like leather on it. This is the mini size. Really nice for summer. Bucket bag. Oh, this is really lovely. Check out this pink. It's like a big marshmallow. How fun is this? And we've got it in like a lime green as well. It's cool. I think I prefer the marshmallow actually. And then we've got like a denim. I like the, we've got bright orange down here. I think it's because it's summer. I'm just really gravitating towards the bright colors. Larger one, I do have over here, like Garni. Okay, this is Tory Birch, right? So this looks a lot like the, I thought this was like the Saint Laurent Lulu bag from the back, just with like the chevron stitching. Tote bag. Let me know what you think to Tory Birch. I keep, a lot of you keep messaging me on the comments. Let me know that you really like the brand. You think it's good quality for the price. So how much is this? This one's £295 for this like little black tote bag. Very cute. Don't know. It's definitely a brand I think I could get on board with. I've just never really looked at before, to be honest. Look at these. These look like the Bottega cassette bag, like literally exactly the same. And this is Apache. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Let me know if I'm not. 
Oh. I've not heard of this brand before, but they've got them, look, yes. here in like, ooh, this is nice. They have straps inside in different colors. Do we have a price? Let's take a look. Uh, okay, I can't find a price tag anywhere, but I will link to these down below. The quality is definitely nowhere near like Bottega quality, but if you're just looking for that style, oh, and they've also got, look, like the Jody bags. <laughs> look. Okay, so they could be like a cool way, cheaper way to try out that kind of style of bag. And what do we have over here? The vintage edit here at Fenwick. We have Chanel. We have some vintage Chanel guys. Let's check the prices out. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so beautiful. I don't think the color is coming across as well on camera. How much is this? So this looks like a Birkin 30 in rose, 19,000 pounds. That's not the worst price I've seen for an Hermes Birkin 30, to be fair. We have a 35 here in black, just classic, isn't it? How much is this one? Ooh, 16,500. It's a pretty good price. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen this. This is in the pearl gray. I don't think I've seen a pearl gray before. 19,600. Another one. It's really great to see that these are, I mean, they look amazing condition are finding new homes. We've got some Louis Vuitton here. We have a key pull, like a little camera bag, a tote bag here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, and a little wallet. And just, we're gonna have to come over here because we have some more Chanel, like a little mini square in red. Classic flap in lambskin. This one is 7,750 pounds. It's nice, this color with the gold hardware. It does have some wear to it. How much is this one? 8,300 pounds. Just honestly though, the lambskin looks amazing. Like, even though it does look like it needs a good clean, there aren't really any scratches that I can see. We have the PST tote bag in red, 4,300. And I'll oh, check this Chanel backpack. It's very cute. We've even got some Prada as well in nylon. It says uh, vintage I items are non-returnable. So if you find something you love, this tote bag's nice. I quite like that and it's got a zipper look for security. Yeah, that's nice. Although I think that Birkin there or the bright one here are definitely my favourites. Guys, whilst it's quiet here and I found a full length mirror, let me give you an outfit of the day. Um, it's quite warm. I have brought a jumper, but I've left that with my luggage for a few hours. So I have this like wrap top on from Zara. This is quite old season, so they don't have this anymore, but maybe they'll have like something similar. I find halter necks on me are quite flattering. Some Zara trousers. I've got a lot of Zara on today. I've got a bag in here, so it's kind of bulking the trousers out, but these are the carrot fit trousers, which you can still get. I really like these with a crop top. I have my Hermes Day sneakers on, love these, and my red mini capy seam bag from Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is actually the first time I think I've ever brought this bag out with me. How crazy is that? I do find it quite small, but because I've got a lot of my other stuff in my other suitcase at the minute, just for a few hours, this works quite nicely. And I feel like this outfit, it's quite neutral, needed a pop of color. We're gonna need to name her, I think. It's got a lot of character, this bag. Uh, let me know. I think it's something beginning with S because this color is called Scarlet from Louis Vuitton. Let me know if you've got any name suggestions for her. I might start naming my bags. Does anyone else do that? A little bit more Strathbury. I featured them in my last video when we went into John Lewis, I believe it was actually. And we have them all out here on display. It's a bit easier to see them actually. And the common kind of theme is the gold bar going across. Uh, Kate Middleton, or Catherine Princess of Wales, as she is now referred to, um, wears Strathbury quite a lot. So this is royal family, British royal family approved, this brand. Oh, I do like this green with the gold. How nice is that? And smaller versions. Oh, and it's pink. Is this on sale? Let's have a look. Um, it looks like it is on sale. £346. I think that's marked down to, I'm not too sure. Ooh, so we'll pick up some Strathbury bargains here. I will link to Strathbury down below, guys, if it is a brand that you are interested in. Love the green. 
enjoyed it in there, especially the pre-loved edit. I love seeing pre-loved Birkins. I think maybe it's because that I'm after one. Didn't see any Kellys in there though. And some of you might already know if you're subscribers, I'm swaying more towards Team Kelly for the first time ever. I've always been Team Birkin. Right, okay, the sun is still shining. It's beautiful. It's actually really warm, like really quite warm. I feel like I'm definitely gonna get quite a good tan today. Uh, now the next stop, if I can find it, is Louis Vuitton. Got Lueve here, Fendi, Alaya I can see over here. Okay, we're getting to the good stuff. Ah, the Del Vaux store is here. Some Del Vaux here, guys. This reminds me of the Kelly. Look at the grain of the leather. That looks really beautiful. What do we think of Del Vaux? Not sure about these kind of like top handle bags though. But. Let me know if you'd like to see more from this brand. Definitely head in and cover some more. Let's have a quick stop in Celine because they actually have a new college bag that I've been wanting to try on. So let's take a look. And here it is. So this is the new Teen Triumph college bag. And here it is in black. And then we've got it in like an off-white. So the difference is this one comes with like a chain and it folds out so you can get into the bag much easier. Here it is with the Teen Triumph, like the original, like the more rectangular shape. I actually think I prefer the Teen Triumph, but when I was looking online, I thought I preferred the college. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments. And here we have the Teen Triumph in this gorgeous like lemon color as well. But I think black still wins for me. Longchamp, this one's for Nick. Look at these, the Le Pillage bag. Oh my gosh, it's got a little dog smoking a pipe. I love how fun these are. How cute. Some pink. Got some raffia in here even. Got a mez here. New Bond Street. I might head in there on the way back, but I do need to get to Louis Vuitton right now. Got Burberry. Chanel over here. We'll see if I'm going to Chanel, Dior. They're all really close together, look, and Louis Vuitton. Fantastic. Sun is still very much shining as well. We made it. Louis Vuitton here. Let's cross this road. Okay, wow, what a beautiful store. I'm looking forward to seeing what's in here. And what do we have in the windows? We have some, like a trunk box here. This outfit's lovely. I love this, it's like the Petite Mall. Oh, well, this is like the Mono Glam, like the gold version where it's kind of like iridescent, although the gold doesn't look as iridescent as the blue. And some big boots. Nice. Let's check out what else we have over here. Have a little tuk-tuk. <laughs> Very simplistic, we've got some luggage. And over here, we have some of the more seasonal pieces. So this is like the canvas with the leather, sunglasses, the belts. Oh, we have the like soft trunk here, I think, like the men's version in like all black. We have, I'm not sure the name of this bag. This in like, I don't know, almost like a colored leather. Oh wow, look at the oversized tag, the sunglasses, the jacket with like the face on over here. Oh wow, they've got the key pull with the, kind of like sunburn so it goes from like a metallic and fades into the monogram I've not seen this in person yet I've only seen it online silver handles let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see wow check out the detail do you know what that's really cool that is a really cool key pull oh and we've got the like soft drink in the same effect with the silver to the monogram some trainers not so sure about the trainers and then over here we have like mini key pool skateboard with all the different colored like leather on part of like the faces collection and the soft trunk let's head into louis vuitton now i'm definitely hoping to see the go one four bag This store is definitely one of the most impressive I have ever been in. Look at the hanging basket chairs. 
super cool. And to see the Go One Fall bag, I've had to come upstairs. This bag is so exclusive, they haven't got it out on the shop floor. So whilst we wait, let's take a quick look at the fashion in this private room. We have lots of the autumn winter pieces here for 2023. I've seen quite a lot of this on the runway, if you watch the runway show. We have pleats, we have like hounds tooth, we have like the neutrals, the browns, the blacks, the creams. And I love it. This is getting me a little bit, bit excited for autumn winter, even though it doesn't feel like we've had much summer. My favorite for sure is this coat. Like the fabric feels so thick and beautiful. The detail on the collar here with like the knitted and then the leather, like all of these are just working so well together. It's giving me kind of cozy vibes. And this is the private room guys where we're just waiting for the bag to be brought out. We can sample some perfumes over here. This reminds me, I definitely need to get some more of my, my Atrep Revs, which is my favorite perfume from Louis Vuitton. We have some cookies. Also like a little trunk over here. How beautiful is this? And we've got some more fashion pieces, which is great because you can kind of try this on with some of the bags. This Cousine bag in the blue and green, not feeling that so much. I do really like these shoes. They look quite comfortable. Oh, we have like a quilted skirt here and some other nice fashion pieces. Oh my gosh, guys. The new Go 14 bag. Look at this. It's just amazing. This is the Pico. Very, very small. And then all hand stitched. We do, do we prefer this to the Capucine bag? If all this, let me know in the comments. And this is it crossbody. The chain is absolutely stunning. You can take the top handle off if you do want to crossbody it. You don't have to keep both straps on at the same time. Oh, I love this. I even really love the navy. It almost looks black. And the Pico is so cute crossbody. It's such a shame it's so small. I'm really glad that I brought my Capucine bag actually because I can see them together and I feel like the Go One Fall bag actually has like a really funky presence to it. So yeah, let me know which one you prefer and then to show you, it kind of has like a magnetic lock but it does turn. You can probably see the navy a little bit better here and inside it's all leather lined, it comes with a mirror, it has like a zip compartment and I can honestly say the Go One Fall bag feels like the most incredible quality. Again, all of this like the diagonal stitching, all all of it has been hand stitched. The chain is one of the most impressive chains I've ever seen on a bag before. And yeah, here it is with the Galet Capucine. And I think I prefer the Go One Four. Let's head into Dior and see what we can find. Not too busy. Let's take a look. And what have we got in the window? Black dresses. So it's summer. Oh, I definitely want to try on if I can this like tote bag this is like a new it's like the 95.22 but like the tote bag version oh, i've got another one here as well so dior are definitely pushing this right now let's head in guys they don't have the fuchsia pink mini saddle bag but they do have this absolutely gorgeous mini miss caro bag in the pink they had it in white and black as well and to open it, you turn this lock. I'm doing a very bad example. You have some compartments and card slots. This is such a cute bag. You can double the strap up and use it as a shoulder bag. And the pink is so pretty. We also have the new Toujours bag. So this is like a tote bag. It's kind of like the 95.22, what we saw um, in the window, like the Lady Dior version, but this is more casual. They have it in three sizes. This is the medium size and the black leather with the champagne gold hardware, stunning. Like this would make a great work bag. And they also have the new Seth Dior bag. So this is like a little bucket bag in the raffia. It will fit my phone inside. I don't have a plus size phone and it is adorable. Like I'm super tempted. This store was so beautiful and they've also got like a homeware section in here. Highly recommend visiting the Dior boutique on Bond Street. Okay, so Chanel, we do have quite a queue to get in. So let's just take a look at what we can see in the windows. We have like a burgundy color. It's classic flat with caviar. Oh look, they've got like CCs on the strap like that's a little bit different isn't it i feel like burgundy for some reason is quite in right now i guess people getting ready maybe for fall and over here what do we have not sure if the reflection is just so bright on this window but we have this 
black kind of top handle bag. Almost looks a little bit like the classic black. Here we go, we can see it a bit clearer now. We have a sequin, oh wow. Look at this with the like CCs in the sequins. So cool, and this necklace. That's so cool. And this tweed outfit. Oh my gosh, the boy. We have the boy bag with like a top handle in the chain and the black. Would you look at this beauty? I'm still a big fan of the boy bag. It's not the most practical, but it is very edgy looking. And this tweed outfit again. Sorry, the reflection. You can literally see Louis Vuitton more. Gucci's having a makeover. Got Chloe here. Not gonna nip into Chloe, but I've got this bag in all the windows. Blue and purple. And over here, like a cream and a base. I'm not even sure the name of this bag. Fendi, what have we got here? Again, this looks like a really beautiful store. Oh my gosh, I spied the Fendi first already. Let's see if we can try it out. And here it is. I think the midi size is perfect. It is in such a bright fuchsia pink. I love it. I think this is made up for missing out on seeing the Dior mini saddlebag. And this is in Karung leather. So that is it for today's shopping vlog, guys, on Bond Street. Wow, the boutiques are actually incredible. It's definitely a little bit harder to get footage. So I hope that you enjoyed what we did manage to get. And success managed to try on the bright pink Fendi First in the Kurung leather, which was really beautiful. Fendi First is one of those bags that I have been tempted by for so long. I just feel like I'm waiting for the perfect one. That one could be it. Again, we never found the Dior saddle bag in the bright pink. Still just not been able to find it. Um, but the highlight 100% for me was the Louis Vuitton Go 1-4 bag. Oh, it was beautiful in the navy. Now, I do really love the caramel colour. Haven't seen it in person, I've only seen the pictures, but I will say, like, the navy was more impressive in real life. Like, it almost looks black, and the ombre isn't too kind of in your face. So, absolutely stunning bag from Louis Vuitton. I can see it being really popular, and I actually really like that they have kept it quite exclusive. Um, so, they have said with the Go One Four bag, if you pre order now, you will get it maybe on release date if they have them. But um, after that, they're saying that you might have to wait like three months to be able to get your hands on one. So definitely more of like an Irma strategy, uh, making these pieces harder to get. But so, so beautiful, like all hand stitched. It was absolutely stunning. Let me know in the comments what you think to the Go 1-4 bag from Louis Vuitton. And the new Celine like college bag. I definitely think I prefer the Team Triumph. Although when I looked on the website, I thought I would prefer the college, but I don't. I prefer the Team Triumph. I think for our next shopping vlog, maybe we'll head to Harrods again. So if you aren't subscribed already and would enjoy that video, make sure you do. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll leave my latest video released here for you and over here. We are going luxury shopping again, but this time it's Selfridges in London. There are so many beautiful pieces in this video, guys. Enjoy.